what's up youtube we're busy with another lightroom tutorial today i'm just gonna show you basic lightroom editing and uh, this is a friend of mine carrie she's a rapper and uh, we took this picture these pictures are about a month ago on this other hip-hop event so yeah these are good pictures as you can see it was taken on iso 250 100 millimeter on f 4.8 ISO 180 it was cloudy there wasn't no sun I didn't struggle with the exposure exposing this picture was more simpler than doing it when the sun is out but yeah as you can see the picture itself everything on the picture looks good this is what I call a perfect exposure as you can see on the histogram so we're just gonna do basic editing to make the picture pop a little bit and then from Lightroom, we're gonna export it to Photoshop. I'll do another tutorial from this one. So uh, the first thing you have to do is to make sure that the temperature is correct. The white balance, but it depends on what kind of a style are you going for. I like it like this, but a little bit on the red side, it will, it's gonna be good for me. But let's, let's just select the eyedropper tool. Uh, just select anything that is supposed to be white or gray so I can say here it's gray as you can see here it's uh, the reds are 34 the greens is 36 and the blues are 36 percent let's check okay as you can see it didn't do much here but I like this white balance I can say it's perfect for me I, I don't want to do too much of it you can also come here but it's gonna do something different you know okay yeah I believe when you select the eyedropper tool wherever you select if you see the information below the eyedropper tool if it's below or above 40% I don't think the exposure is good I don't know why or where did I get the theory but yeah as you can see let me just select here yeah. i think someone's gonna have a better information than me but i think here yeah, it's great yeah this is too good so yeah this is my temperature white balance and then we come to exposure uh, i have no problem with the exposure i think it's perfect for me but let me push it up a bit uh, let's say plus 24 plus 0 0.24 contrast uh, let's post it up a bit uh, to 19 and then highlights i'm just gonna bring it low as i bring it low as you can see it makes the picture pop i don't know if i'm making sense but you can see from doing this uh, there are not enough shadows so let me not boost the shadows too much but it depends on what kind of a picture you took if you took on a sunny day you will have to boost the shadows and then uh, decrease the highlights maybe to minus 100 and then the shadows to plus 100 in order to balance the shadows and the highlights but yeah i'm just gonna put it here on 45 and then the white i don't see enough whites here uh, okay let me put it right here as you can see when, whenever i decrease a uh, the exposure or the white you can see this red thingy popping here this thing shows that you are uh, this part is overexposed now I just selected here okay this is overexposed you see these are the parts that are overexposed so yeah you can always select here and check uh, most of the time you'll find that your your pictures are overexposed but yeah this is a white color so it I will allow it to be overexposed but I'm not too much overexposed and then let me bring down the blacks a little bit okay as you can see this this is the parts that are underexposed and it's okay if those parts are black already but if it's not a black color and it's underexposed then it's gonna give you a problem okay let's increase the clarity a bit I always have a problem pronouncing this name I don't know uh, I think I have a bigger tongue so pronouncing it 
twisting where it's like this giving me a problem so let's increase it to 24 uh, let me just cancel this because it's disturbing me now and uh, let's boost the vibrance a little bit okay to 24 yeah and then it decrease the saturation uh, the reason i'm doing this is because uh, i'm trying to balance the colors and the exposure but i'm not using lightroom to do the final product i'm just gonna uh, get the perfect midtones uh, perfect exposure on lightroom and then export to photoshop that's what i basically do but yeah if you like if you want to just finish up everything on lightroom you can just put the saturation here and say no i'm done with the picture but as for me i i still have to push the editing uh, sometimes i take about three hours to four hours editing just one picture so let's go to tone curve uh sorry 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 i always have a problem using tone curve especially if it's like this uh, what did i do basically you'll find your tone curve like this if it's the first time you have installed lightroom but from here uh, i don't know it depends on what kind of a style you like if you like adjusting here then it's good for you but i prefer using this one just select here and bring down the okay just bring down the tags a bit and the highlights a little bit as you can see now uh, her face turns a bit orange which is something that i don't like now i have to decrease here decrease the temperature a bit okay which is plus two uh, okay, uh, this is how far I can go now, but as from here, I'm just going to export the picture to Lightroom and edit with Lightroom. Let's select here, edit in Photoshop. I always open as a smart object in Photoshop. Uh, I don't know what you prefer, but as you can see, I'm using Photoshop 2015 and now it's 2018. You'll be like, why are you using 2015 in 2018? I prefer 2018 uh, 2017 Photoshop is more complicated for me I don't know why but I don't like upgrading things every time there's something new I don't like doing that sometimes you have to stick to what you know you know and then upgrade when you feel like you have to expand your knowledge but yeah I prefer Photoshop CC 2015 okay we'll do another tutorial thanks uh, this was just a video for beginners Lightroom I think there are other videos that will teach you what is what on Lightroom and what to do. But here is it's sort of like Lightroom Beginner 1.3. This is part 1 and part 2 will be editing in Photoshop. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the videos and please leave questions below and I'll do more videos.